time and work. So almost all the competitive exams you can expect the questions from time and work. We'll start with easy questions and I'll give the short technique or short trick methods to solve the problems directly. Let us start with one by one. For example, these type of questions like uh, three uh, units are given. That means in a factory of in a factory, 30 men can manufacture 50 toys in eight hours. 30 men can manufacture 50 toys in eight hours. One line. How many toys can be created if 40 men work on the same project for 12 hours? So how many toys? Toys you have to find out. From the first line, just you can make the statement like this M1 and time W1. I'm taking men, time and work. Work is like a number of toys here, even manufacturing. Whatever it is, just make it as one unit. Next, from second line, you can take M2, T2 and W2. I'll give the formula out to apply. So, 30 men can work 8 hours and they are making 50 toys. Is the first line. How many toys? So, this will be X. Time 12 hours and 40 men if they work. So, the direct formula is we should take M1 into T1 into the work was done should be only reverse. Same here also M2 into T2 into. Only the difference is here must be W2 and this is W1. So, the work was done now that should be in uh, internal opposite should take not 1 and 2, 2 and 1. The number of men and time taken these are the inversely just but remaining only directly it is. That's why the formula you can remember this. Only the work was done now that we can take opposite. We can substitute the values you will get the answer. So, here is M1. So, 13 to 18 to x is equals to 14 to 12 into 50. Okay, from this x is equals to 40 times 12 into 50 by again 13 to 8. Okay, you can simplify and get the answer. So, in this 0, 0 cancel, 3, 1, 0, 3, 4, again 4 times 4, 2. 200, 2, 2, 50, uh, 50 into 2, it's 100. 100 toys, uh, 40 men can do the same project for 12 hours. Okay. Only this uh, work was done should be reverse. Right. Again, another type. These are also given shortcut. If A can do a piece of work in 6 days, B can do it in 8 days. Then how many days can they finish the same work if they work together? Instead of taking the work was done for 1 day, 1 by 6. Instead of that, by, we can use this formula x y by x plus y days. Okay, x is the a can and b is uh, y is the b can days. This you can use directly. So, 6 into 8 by 6 plus 8. This you can apply directly. So, 6 into 8, 48. 6 plus 8 is 14. 48 by 14. Mm, that is 3, 6 by 14 days. You can write in mixed fraction. Okay, this is the direct one. You can simplify also. More. Here also you can simplify and get an answer also you can simplify. So A and B work together 3, 6, uh, four, 3, 6 by 14 days. Even if it is uh, more than 2 percent. Let us see this question. If Sharu can do a piece of work in 8 days, Salman in 6 days and Amir in 12 days. How many days can these three members together if work together? That is x, y, z divided by two two members x, y into y, z yeah x, y plus y, z plus x, z days. This you can use this formula. That means 8 into 6 into 12 divided by again 8 into 6. 6 into 8, 8 into 6 plus again next term 6 into 12 plus 12 into 8 days. This you have to simplify. Then if you simplify, you get the final answer 8 into 6 into 12. So 576 by if we calculate this, we we'll get 216 days. So convert to mixed fraction or it's approximately 2.67 days. 
So 8, 6, 12, no, answer must be less than that because if 3 are working together to do the same work. Okay. Either 2 or 3, even 4 also you can use same. 4 means again 3, 3 will get. Maximum 3 you can expect in exams. And next, another type. In case instead of giving straight away, they will give the relation like this. If A is twice as good as B in his work, together they finish the work in 28 days. In how many days can it be done by each of the working separately? Okay, one member capacity is different. So, same formula, two members, no? X, Y by, generally X plus Y days is actually straight. But A is twice as good as B. That means if B takes two X days, then A can take only X days. A is twice as good as B. The B is X, then A must you take two X days. Then you can apply in this formula. In stuff A and B, this X and two X. So two X into X by same two X plus X. Twice now. So two X square. Two X plus X is three X. You can make it as simplify. This X cancel. Then 2x by 3. But according to the question, 2x by 3 is equals to work together 28 days. You can take 28 and find out. Then x is equal to 28 into 3 by 2. 2 by 3 is reciprocals 14. 14 into 3. So 42. If you can do in 42, we must take 84 days. One is double. So because this is twice as good as B. So this together. So you can use this uh, method to find out. In case the relation is given, in this formula only you can rechange. So this is one type. And one more question. Karina can finish a work in 50 days and Karishma can finish the work in 40 days. Same problem. But in this uh, one is stopping type. Like uh, they work together for 5 days. Suddenly Karina left. How many days will Karishma finish the work? If some person left in between, how to get the other person's remaining days? Okay, for this one, you can use the same 50 and 40. First, together they can do it. Together, how many days they can do it? But they worked for 5 days. That means 5 into same 50 and 40 days. No, so one day they can do 1 by 50, one day Karishma can do 1 by 40. Total 50 days. One day you can do 1 by 50th part. So 1 by 5 into 1 by 50 plus 1 by 40. So 5 into we'll do LCM 90 by 2000 that is 9 by 40. So 9 by 40 work was done. Then the remaining work. Remaining work total is work is 1. 1 minus 9 by 40 you simplify 31 by 40. This 31 by 40 should be done by Karishma, but Karishma capacity 31. So 31 by 40 into 40. 40 days, no? Karishma can do the work in 40 days. Then just take 40 into multiply this 31 by 40 to get the final answer. Okay, 40, 40 cancel, then 31 days. So after finding the remaining work, who is supposed to complete, you can multiply with their number of days they can do it. So you will get the answer. Okay. These are the basic problems you can use from this uh, topic, time and work.